Michael, great interview on Fox 29 last week. I have a few follow-up questions for you. Uh, you had mentioned that in the past, foreclosure properties were typically being sold at auction and or sheriff sales. And today that more and more of these properties were making their way onto the open market. So my question is, is how does the average buyer go about finding these properties? It's a great question, Jeff. <laughs> the great part about technology and the improvements in technology is that we now have the ability to search for these properties more easily than in years past. In our local MLS, for instance, properties that are now bank-owned are designated as such, and we can actually seek those properties out on a separate list for clients to take a look at. Um, same thing with pre-foreclosures like short sales, um, etc. So if anybody's looking to take advantage of one of these properties, as you know, Jeff, we just started a foreclosure list that we want to buy weekly basis we have available to people. If somebody needs something more specific, uh, or specific to an area, or more frequently to get that list, then obviously we can handle that too for them as well. So if anybody out there wants a list like this, just let us know, send us a quick email, give us a call with your email address, and we'll include you on that list of uh, foreclosure homes that are available. Michael, great explanation. You'd also mentioned in the interview that there are some programs out there that give a buyer who is actually, actually looking to live in the home an advantage over an investor who's looking to purchase the property. Can you elaborate, please? Yes, Jeff. The, the program I was talking about was called the First Look Initiative. It's something that was put in place through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac as part of a neighborhood stabilization program so they would not negatively impact the values of the homes in neighborhoods across America. What they're trying to do there is offer a buyer who's looking to move into the home as being their primary residence the opportunity to buy the house on the first 14 to 21 days on the market before an investor can come in and buy it. The idea there is that you know, a typical home buyer is willing to pay a little bit more than an investor would be because they're not looking to flip the property over. The program also gives the opportunity for people to put down as little as 3% down with some great interest rates, uh, be able to finance in the repairs or upgrades they want to do to a property, and oftentimes can include a two-year home warranty that protects a buyer from system failures, etc., for the first two years of living in the property. Wow, that's a great opportunity. You know, in the past, uh, we've seen that foreclosure or bank-owned properties have made up about 5% of the inventory. Has that changed? Are there a lot of properties on the market now for some people to take advantage of? Yeah, the foreclosure property, Jeff, you know, in our area, it really depends on specifically what neighborhoods we're looking in. Uh, but they can make up as little as 5% or less of the inventory, as much as 15% or more of the inventory. Our area is not impacted that greatly by them at this point. The shadow inventory you've heard um, talked about in the past with banks that are holding back these properties instead of releasing them all at once in the marketplace has been somewhat effective uh, to not killing the values in our neighborhoods. Um, but the important part is here that there are these properties that are out there and there's more coming in the future. And if someone wants to take advantage of them, it's just a matter of being prepared to take advantage of them by having everything ducks in a row for that opportunity. Great insight. You know, so what does a potential buyer need to do to take advantage of these situations? Are these properties competitive in bidding today? You know, what kind of recommendations do you have for a buyer and how should they be handled? Great question, Jeff. Uh, you know, buyers today, if they're going to take advantage of one of these opportunities, have to be prepared for them. Um, and that part of that is, you know, there's a couple different things. One is having a pre-approval, having all the finances in a row, having your money to do liquid for down payments, deposits, etc. Secondly, working with a real estate agent who is following that market, who is actively engaged in the market, watching foreclosures, short sales, um, and estate sales and other opportunities that are great deals. Um, third is having contractors ready at minutes notice to go out and see these homes so you know what needs to be done on them before placing a bid. So you have an educated bid going into um, a bank for one of these properties. Also have an attorney lined up and the right title company lined up to review the paperwork to make sure there's nothing attached as far as additional liens and make sure you're being protected every step of the way. Obviously we have all those things wrapped up in our team. We have the contractors, we have the title companies, we have the attorneys. We know where to send our clients to to make sure they're not going to make a bad decision. Um, Jeff, with your background, in our background, my background, with growing up in a family of builders, uh, we have the experience and the eye for what needs to be done 
so we can help our clients out. And obviously, we're going to have the right contractors out there reviewing the property and make sure it's a, a, a good fit. And if it's not a good fit and the numbers don't make sense, we'll tell you that. I mean, it's, it's very important to know that sometimes you have to walk away and the numbers just don't work. So um, we're always there for you on that. Competition, Jeff, when you asked about that, it's highly competitive when you have a property that's, that's priced very, very aggressively to sell. Um, as you know, I mean, if you're looking at a house that's a great price, odds are if someone else is looking at the same home too as well and comparing it out and doing their research and making an educated offer. You have to make sure you are prepared, make sure you're getting the listings, seeing them day one when they come on the market, day two, and being out there to see it right away um, and get in there and make a good decision for yourselves. So we can always offer our services out to anybody who's looking for one of these type of homes, pass our names along, and then we can do to help. Obviously, we're there for you. So basically, it requires a great deal of patience. Now, are there any other avenues that you search for today to really help find some of these diamonds in the rough? You know, are there any other market influences going on right now that may create some other opportunities for buyers to get a great deal? Yeah, Jeff, the, the foreclosure market is only one area that we look at for potential deals. I mean, obviously buyers today, as, a, as always, I mean, it's just our general nature, we're trying to look for a great deal. And we've been always doing that for our clients, always keeping a great eye out for that. Um, opportunities don't just exist in the foreclosure market, in the bank loan market. There's great opportunities in short sales. Uh, there are some great opportunities out there with estate the sales and other situations that are unique that present um, an opportunity to buy a house at a depressed value. Sometimes, many times, can be even better than some of the foreclosure homes. Um, and the shift right now we're starting to see is for banks to try to work with homeowners to make the home sell before ever getting foreclosed upon. There's counseling out there through the government programs now to help homeowners recognize that, you know, we're not just, we, banks don't want to own properties, let's be honest. They want to get them sold before they ever take possession of them. So a short sale um, is many times we've heard, you know, so, so much negativity in the marketplace about them. There are programs in the short sale arena right now that are making these homes already pre-approved before they have to be put on the market and making sure the homeowners have everything in line so when we get an offer on a place that the banks are ready to act on the offer and not have to wait around for six to nine months like was common in the, in the past. So there are other, other avenues that we can look at and we do explore on a routine basis as well for clients to take advantage of opportunities. Hey Michael, thank you so much for taking the time to do the follow-up to your TV interview from Fox 29. We really do appreciate it. Um, for everyone else out there, if you have any questions regarding this, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email, and Michael and I will get back to you and answer any questions that you may have. If you know anyone that's looking to buy or sell real estate, please feel free to pass our information along, and we will certainly make sure that your referrals are treated with professional care so they can have a great experience in buying and selling real estate. Thanks again for joining us today.